Daytona Beach, Florida, home tanksters, hot rods, muscle car, and collector car showroom. Where we own all of our vehicles, we are not a consignment dealership. During the next seven to eight minutes of this video presentation, we are going to go over our buying process. So if you're already familiar with our process or you've watched our videos in the past, please feel free to fast forward to today's vehicle presentation. In Daytona Beach, we have a 25,000 square foot facility where we house 60 to 70 collector cars, all of which we own. Hangsters.com. We are an internet based business. We have 100, well, 80 to 100 photographs on our website of each vehicle, along with a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. The reason we have this content on our website is because the majority of the transactions we conduct, conduct month after month and year after year are done sight unseen. Yes, people wire us money for 30, 50, $70,000 cars without ever coming to look at them. However, I do not encourage that you do this. Um, classic cars, they're awesome, nostalgic, have great looks, uh, get a lot of compliments, a lot of eyeball, a lot of appeal. Um, but they're 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They are not that brand new car that you're gonna go get from your Ford or Dodge dealer or Chevrolet dealership. Um, they all have flaws, deficiencies, weaknesses, tendencies, some of which we try to disclose in our video presentation and in our photos on our website. I encourage you to come in person to check out the car for yourself. We would gladly pull the car outside for you. You can check out the paint condition, interior condition, real good out in the natural light. You can pop the hood, you can pop the trunk, look the car over real good with your own eyes. We have two twin post lifts here in our Daytona showroom. We'd be more than happy to put the car in the air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage. Uh, the suspension components, the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the floor pan condition, the tire condition. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car stops, starts, steers, accelerates, uh, how the transmission shifts, how the ride feels, if there's any noises you don't like, if there's any kind of vibrations or, or anything like that you do not like. This way, when the vehicle shows up to you wherever you're at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself in its entirety. In our photo shoots and in our video presentations, we try to represent each vehicle as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can and offer full transparency. However, we can only cover so much content in a 20 minute video presentation and this is why we encourage you guys to come in person and check the car out for yourself. What happens next once you decide on your classic ride? Where do we go from here? If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. And if you're coming to visit us in person, you want to bring us cash, we'll take that too. That does still spend today, believe it or not. Maybe you don't have the cash to buy one of these cars. What, what are my financing options? We work with a few different collector car lenders that offer terms on these vehicles. The terms start at five years and they go up to 15 years. Approval is going to be based on your credit bureau, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car, things like that. I discussed 15 year term. They aren't going to do 15 years on a $25,000 car. There is price cutoffs for that 15 year approval and obviously you have to qualify on the credit end. The uh, loans from the lenders are simple interest loans which means if your payment's $500 a month and you pay $800 a month, the extra $300 goes towards principal. Also, no prepayment penalty. So if you get approved for an eight year term, which is about the average approval term, and you pay it off in 12 months, they aren't gonna penalize you for doing so. So that makes it nice to own one of these classics also. Short term money loans, you can do that. And then you can pull money out of your home equity line or your 401k or pull cash out of the bank, whatever the circumstances that you have are. Once the vehicle is paid for, what happens? The car goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. We sell old cars. Anything can stop working, anything can start leaking at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. We torque the lug nuts, we check the tire pressure, we check the fluid levels, make sure the AC's blown cold if it's equipped, make sure your brake lights work, your horn works, your wipers work, all of that stuff. Once it's green lighted and the guys say it's good to go, then we detail it. After it goes through detail, a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, 
If you're in a more rural or remote destination or a holiday falls in there, or maybe you're on the West Coast where they do fewer runs because of obviously the travel distance, it may take three, four, five business days to get a truck here, but I promise you, we know you're excited to get your ride. We are excited we earned your business as a customer. We will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. If you're the one handling the shipping, let's say you're sending your own carrier or you're coming with your own enclosed or open transport or you're driving the car home because you're close enough, we'll let you know when the vehicle is ready and you can come pick the vehicle up. That about covers our uh, purchasing process here at Hangster's Hot Rods of Daytona. So let's get started with today's vehicle presentation. At Hangster's Hot Rods, we sell a lot of classic cars, collector cars, and one of our most popular selling units are first generation Camaros. We sold two last week. And today we have another outstanding one for you, so let's check it out. <clears throat> 1968 Chevy Camaro big block car. It is a 454. Uh, the vehicle does have a silver cowl tag up there on the driver's side firewall that you can see uh, riveted above the brake booster. The uh, black contraption on the uh, driver's side firewall is your power brake booster. So you do have power brakes on this car. And then of course down here, uh, mounted on the driver's side front of the block is your power steering reservoir for power steering. <clears throat> If you guys are looking to see if a vehicle of ours is equipped with AC, always look for an AC compressor. This car does not have one, therefore it tells you it is not equipped with air conditioning. We do have Camaro big block AC kits in stock. If you're interested, we can certainly install it for you prior to your vehicle leaving. Red 1968 Camaro with a black interior. Highly desirable color combination on the 68. Uh, paint up top here, real nice. Uh, in fact, it's real nice throughout the entire car. We will be showing you that throughout the presentation. Your uh, hood uh, scoops here, they look to be in pretty good shape. Uh, no heavy patina or um, any kind of uh, uh, like pitting of those. Chrome looks good. Uh, cowl area, hood area, tops of the fenders all look real good. Uh, clear, uh, the color, the clear. Um, no uh, blisters, cracks, bubbles, anything like that going on in the paint. <clears throat> uh, the stripe here, if it is not painted on the nose of the vehicle, is definitely cleared over. There is no vinyl lip that I can feel. Uh, SS396 badging in the center of the grill. I just told you that the car is equipped with a 454, so ignore that 396 badge. Uh, the chrome on the front bumper looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, no uh, chrome peel, uh, no rust bubbles. Um, anything like that, no uh, severe uh, pitting of the chrome, anything going on up front. Uh, and then of course your uh, black plastic lower spoiler, uh, that seems to be uh, in one piece on this particular unit. <clears throat> so far so good. Stepping around to the driver's side, raised white letter uh, Cooper Cobra tires, uh, rally wheels, center caps, beauty rings, all look to be in pretty good shape on the driver's side front. Uh, again, the paint on the car, real, real nice. Um, no issues on the front fender to speak of whatsoever. Uh, there's no blistering or cracking up high, down low. Uh, real, real nice paint. Driver's side, or actually the entire front windshield, I mean, we're on the driver's side, but the entire front windshield, um, no cracks, no chips, no scratches uh, that I can see all your chrome here uh, in real nice shape. Let's jump up to the roof for just a moment before we continue on with the side of the car. Hopefully you get a good perspective uh, from this shot of the paint. Paint on the car is real, real nice, real deep red, real good uh, color. Uh, the color's uniform, the clear's uniform, car looks real nice. <clears throat> Let's jump to our door fitment here real quick. Um, door fitment on the car, uh, the uh, body lines on the car, real, real nice. Uh, so look at your uh, body line here front fender, to the door, to the rear quarter, all nice and straight down the side of the car. Your door gaps from the top of the quarter here to the bottom where the rocker meets your uh, door panel. And then of course up here where you uh, meet at the front fender, all the body lines on the car, real, real nice. <clears throat> glass clarity throughout the car, quarter windows, uh, door glass, all real nice. Um, the uh, drip rail molding installed properly looks good on the car. 
Uh, chrome on the door handle there looks relatively new. <clears throat> Don't have any history on the car as far as any kind of motor rebuild, training rebuild, uh, when the paint was done. However, there's a lot of characteristics of this car that tell me um, this, you know, it, it's not an older restoration. It's definitely, like I said, the paint real nice on the vehicle. Um, the, the engine, we'll, we'll check out the undercarriage here momentarily. The engine looks real good in the car. Uh, door panel. Uh, the uh, vinyl on the top of the door panel in real nice shape. Uh, armrest not torn. The uh, uh, door panel itself not all bowed out at the bottom. Warped. <coughs> the uh, rear seat. Black vinyl. Real nice. Uh, good cushion. No rips, no tears, no discoloration. Dome light illuminates when you open up the driver door. While we're up there, check out the headliner. It's in good shape. Uh, we'll show you that again on the uh, test drive portion of our video. And then, of course, there's also still photos up on the website. Uh, OEM front seat belts in our Camaro here. The uh, vinyl on the driver's seat in real nice shape. Once again, not ripped or torn. Carpeting in the car in good condition. No heavy stains, no discoloration, no tears. Uh, dash pad looks to be in good condition as well. Center console is in pretty good shape. Center console, staple shifter, car automatic. We will take a closer look at the interior when we are on our test drive. But for now, let's jump back to the car itself. Rear quarter, um, no issues whatsoever as far as any kind of paint blistering or cracking, any kind of bubbles at the bottom of the quarters. Um, the beauty ring back here in good condition. Same thing with the center cap and the rally wheel. Those all look to be in nice shape. We'll jump up here to our rear window glass. Uh, again, clarity's good. Uh, no excessive heavy scratching. Chrome around the rear window looks good. Uh, your hat rack speaker shelf area looks to be in nice shape. Car is equipped with a spoiler, same color red as the car. Uh, looks in, in nice condition. Uh, uniform paint on the deck lid, um, no paint issues there, any kind of clear coat fade or blistering or bubbling, anything like that going on. <clears throat> chrome on the rear of the car, all in real nice shape as well. Uh, you can see the uh, chrome around your brake lights, reverse lights in real nice shape. Chrome on the rear bumper in good condition. Let's take a look in the trunk. Pretty simple, right? Um, so in our video presentations and in our photo shoots, if there's no jack or spare present in the trunk, you don't get one upon delivery, and this car does not have it. I didn't take it out of there, I promise you. If we get them, we give them, and if not, we don't. Trunk pan, I don't know if it gets any better than that. Real nice and solid in the car, no issues. This is a extremely nice 68 Camaro. If you're in the market, um, this is probably your car, uh, color combination, interior combination, beautiful, it's a really beautiful car. <clears throat> uh, passenger side of the car is the same as the driver's, hopefully from this uh, vantage point you're getting, uh, you know, the, how nice and straight the quarters are on the car, the, uh, the, the, the passenger side door, the front fender, again notice that center body line, how everything lines up just like it should. Um, there's no paint issues on the quarters, uh, neither high nor low. Uh, there's no paint issues on the drop down here from the roof to the rear quarter of the vehicle. Very nice paint on this car. How about the passenger side? Let's check out the door panel first. Much the same as the driver's. Uh, no issues to speak of. Um, you know, your armrest isn't torn, the top of the uh, door panel is not torn, the bottom of the door panel is not warped and protruding out from the door itself. Uh, you get a uh, alternate perspective view of that uh, center console staple shifter. You got the clips there to clip the seat belts into. Uh, you got a set of aftermarket gauges there um, in front of the staple shifter. We'll figure out if those are functioning on the test drive. Uh, the interior of this car is in real nice condition. Uh, the black vinyl, the black carpeting, the center console, the dash pad, the headliner, all in real, real nice shape. Very well cared for car, turnkey car, <coughs> ready to go for you guys. Uh, and you already got a mirror mounted on the 
Passenger side door, that's the same as the driver's side. They match one another. And the front fender, no paint issues. Real, real, real nice paint. I don't think I, have I even shown a paint issue on this car? The paint on this car is fantastic. It's really nice. There is a little ding down here in the beauty ring. I don't know if I might have took a rock or something. Um, down there, there's a little tiny dent in the beauty ring, but the uh, center cap and the uh, wheel itself in nice condition. <clears throat> Great car. 1968 Chevrolet Camaro, big block, equipped with uh, power steering, power brakes, red, black interior, doesn't get much better. We're going to put our 68 Camaro up in the air, I'll show you the undercarriage, and then shortly after that we'll do a little test drive. Underneath our 1968 big block Chevrolet Camaro, you have disc brakes up front. Uh, you will not be able to see any of the front of the motor in the video presentation because of the cross member. However, we'll show you what we can see over here of the side of the block. Hopefully you can see those freeze plugs up there that look relatively new. They're in good shape. Uh, oil pan gaskets in nice shape. You can see there's no oil leaks there. Hopefully you guys can see anyways. I'm speaking for you. Uh, starters in the way on the passenger side, but you can see a little bit of the side of the block. The uh, reason I'm showing you the side of the block is this way you know that there's no uh, leaks coming down off of like your valve covers or whatnot, and uh, the freeze plugs look good and those aren't leaking. <clears throat> the uh, headers in nice shape on both sides. Uh, no rust holes, pin holes, rot holes, anything like that going on. Jump to the uh, tranny pan here. Uh, tranny pan's all nice and dry uh, throughout. Flywheel is covered on the car. Uh, the frame rails, both driver and passenger, uh, look to be in good shape. Uh, your e-brakes hooked up here. Uh, no leaks out of the tail shaft seal. Not sure if you can peek through the cross member and see the speedo cable. That's nice and dry as well. Really good looking car underneath. So uh, the floor pans are painted on this car. Some of the paint uh, had chipped off and somebody uh, has uh, you know touched that up, so be aware of that. Uh, the floor pans themselves, all one solid piece throughout, both driver and passenger. Uh, there's no um, rust holes, rot holes. There's no sectioning of the uh, pans in, silicone, patchwork, anything like that going on. Car does have new pipes and mufflers on it from the uh, headers back. Uh, so the, uh, the, the exhaust pipes there look to be fantastic because your uh, pipes, like I said, are brand new and then the uh, mufflers uh, are, are new as well. The uh, drum brakes on the rear of the car, 10 bolt rear end. Uh, you can also see looking up here, our frame rails on the uh, driver's side, passenger side, both look to be in real good condition. <clears throat> the um, tires on the car are also brand new. Uh, you got a set of Coopers there um, that are, you know, you can see the uh, red markings, the white markings. Um, they are brand new on the vehicle. We put those on there. so. Beautiful looking car thus far. We're going to set it down on the ground, take it on on a test drive, show you how the car performs. Inside our 68 Camaro horn, uh, wipers. Uh, the odometer reads 27, I'm sorry, 21,736. Title reads exempt, true miles unknown, driver's side turn signal. Passenger side turn signal. Fuel gauge does function. Our aftermarket gauges down there are working. Oil pressure, uh, battery voltage, and temp. Uh, is no radio in this car. Somebody has covered the radio hole, so you will have to find your own means of music. Uh, center console is in nice shape. Headliners in real nice condition, as I stated in the showroom. Our dash pad looks good. Let's see how the car runs out. Camaro's running fantastic. Cooling good. 
We're at a buck 90. It's a big block car in Florida, so we should be running anything 200 and below is okay. We're doing good. Speedo is functioning. Not bouncing around. Car tracks real nice and straight. Steering nice and tight. Immediate response in the wheel. Uh, no engine vibration, no training vibration, no tire vibration. Car runs, drives real nice and smooth. Response is great in the throttle. It's a pretty nice car. We'll show you here momentarily how our brakes do. Look at that. No vibration, no pulsation in the brakes whatsoever. Car stops just like it should. Calipers aren't hanging up. Notice it idle too, how we're not stalling out. I don't have to keep my foot on the gas to keep the car running. There's no popping through the exhaust. It's about 55. I have to shut it off because of the traffic in front of me. But uh, real, real nice power in the 454. Uh, real nice response in the throttle. No popping through the exhaust when I'm accelerating. Um, here we are, 50 miles an hour. No kinds of uh, left pull, right pull, anything like that. Strong. Temp's good. No overheating issues. This is one that should go quick. If you're in the market for a nice first gen, this car has pretty much everything uh, that you're going to want. The color, the drivetrain combination, big block, steering, brakes. We can even add AC if you want. It's a great car. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. That's where you see all the photos of this 68 Camaro today, along with this video presentation you're watching right now. The full retail price, our 68 Camaro includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good at any ASD certified facility in the United States. And it covers the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. It doesn't cover brakes or batteries or starters or alternators or normal wear and tear items. If the oil pan gasket starts leaking, that's on you. However, it does cover your major mechanical breakdowns, and it is good, again, at any ASC certified facility in the United States, which are most of them, uh, you know, franchised facilities, uh, independent facilities. It's just a, uh, a brand recognition that tells you that that particular service center is a reputable one. You just can't take it to any backyard shop and have somebody start tinkering or toying with the car and it's not going to work. Is the price of the vehicle negotiable? It is negotiable within reason. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. There's no exceptions to that, so you don't have to bother asking that question. Also, the shipping comes off. At full retail price, we handle all your shipping logistics. We'll try to get around this bus. We, uh, we contact the driver. We vest them to make sure they're properly licensed, bonded, and insured. We set up the pickup. We arrange the delivery. We track the progress of the car from the time it leaves our showroom to the time it arrives to you. We pay the driver. At a negotiated cost, you will handle all of that legwork on your own. Maybe you have your own open or enclosed carrier. You want to come trailer this Camaro home. No issues there whatsoever. You're more than welcome to do that. And then, of course, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you want to drive the 68 Camaro home, you won't be overheating because our temp is maintaining where it's supposed to. Hangster's Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach. 
once again, our website is hangsters.com. This is a beautiful 68 Camaro. So whichever method you prefer to contact us, be it phone, text message, submitting a credit app, making an offer on the car, sending an email, we will get back to you just as quickly as we can. Hangsters Hot Rods, hangsters.com. Check us out.